Hey, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. In this video, I wanna show you how you can write out melodies without needing to know how to read music. And it's actually extremely beneficial even if you know how to read music because reading music doesn't induce this skill that I'm gonna show you here. It's so simple. What I'm gonna show you is the most watered down, most abstract, away from the guitar fretboard version of how I think of music, period. And everything I do on the fretboard in terms of mapping out scales, melodies, chord tones, transposing, chord progressions, everything, anything, is a guitar fretboard version of what I'm gonna show you right here. And it's so crazy simple. I'm gonna show you a few melodies for how to do it. So if we take the scale uh, of just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, and we need to know that three and four and seven and one have a half step between them hs for half step there okay so the hard part here is you want to be able to sing this <clears throat> forgive my singing voice it's a little rough right now and it's not something i'm comfortable with at all but i find that this is extremely beneficial to work on and i still do it quite a bit also it's nice to know that you don't have to be a singer to do this you just want to be able to think in these structures and hear it even if you're drifting pitch and a little pitchy which is what i'm going to be so one two three four five six seven one one seven six five four three two one okay if i warm up into it a little bit i can get locked into it whatever you get the idea you probably will sing better than that uh than i did right there but you get the idea now with this, uh, how I'm thinking of this, when I'm gonna write out melodies, I'll show you something about how to know when the melody is gonna go up or down. We'll do that with an actual song here in a second. This only works when it comes to writing out melodies if you know what the song is supposed to sound like, the melody is supposed to sound like. It's not gonna show rhythms or anything like that, but it's very awesome to just think of the actual interval relationships, the actual structure of melodies this is how i'm able to you know sight sing something if i see sheet music or transpose something on the guitar or think and know where i am in terms of scale degrees chord tones all of that stuff okay so you have to really have this kind of thing down if i warm into it a little more one two three two three two one two three four three four five five six five six seven one seven and also say sen instead of seven so you just have a one syllable some people say sev Say sen is what I like to do. S one sen six five five six five four three four three two three two one. Okay, so we need to be able to hear that. That could take a long time. Took me a long time to be able to do that. It, it, I could play guitar for a long time before I ever even could sing a scale accurately, right? So it's something I still feel I'm catching up on, but I love, love, love practicing this stuff because I feel like it gets the musicianship in me that uh, I know will help me as a guitar player, and it certainly does. Okay, so be able to do that now, every melody is just a series of interval relationships. It always is. If we can think and hear things this way, it's insanely beneficial. I recently did a video where I demonstrated Itsy Bitsy Spider to do, I did a kind of a classical uh, right hand technique roll demonstration or tutorial, and I used that. Uh, I'll put a link to that video in the description if you wanna hear it. But let's do that melody since it's on my mind from having just done it recently. So I'm gonna sing this again. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, five. If you really want to work on this, if it's super, super hard for you, do it with a drone, have a, have a note droning. I have a melodic ear training uh, guitar course where we do this to like just playing the low E string and singing over it and singing patterns and stuff like that. Uh, so when I come back to singing it, I'll probably be sometimes in a different key that's okay now itsy bitsy spider five one 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 two three three two one two three one that's that melody here's the thing that makes it very cool to write it out again you have to know the rhythms for yourself and everything but i write a line above it if it goes up five one and a line below if it goes down five one 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 two three three two one two three one obviously no line if it's the same note and doesn't go anywhere then if you are going down an octave or up an octave you can put the line above it or below it right it's going to be very clear what's happening here I'm not saying this is something everyone you know should be doing or if it's more you know more superior to writing out music it's 
just it's just a shorthand thing that I did a long time ago to kind of document some melodies that I wanted to have, you know, making sure I'm thinking of the actual scale structure and since it's helped me a lot. And for the most part I don't write stuff out this way as much as I think of it in my head this way. So this is a cool way to show you how that works. Okay, let's do the next phrase. Five, one, 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 two, three, three, two, one, two, three, one, three, three, four, five, five, four, three, four, five, three. <laughs> Getting uh, high for my range there. Uh, let's do the lines. Three, 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 four, five, five, four, three, four, five, three. Okay, looks, it's not like easy to just automatically read like there's a sentence in front of you, but it's all there. And if you were able to think of your numbers on the guitar, you can now play this on the guitar. If you know your scale and you know your numbers, you say, where's five? Okay, I'm going up to one. Okay, I'm going down to two. It's a very cool way, especially if you don't read music. And honestly, even if you do, because this is so different than the way music is written out, which it gives you an exact pitch and gives you the rhythm and all that information, you could have a whole catalog of melodies written out this way so you can make sure you're thinking of it with the interval structures and uh, being able to play it in any key maybe with any shape you know any scale form position on the guitar that kind of thing obviously we can do it with any other melodies three two one two three 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 two 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 three five five mary had a little lamb anything just doing these very simple ones to to uh show you and if you want to, I will also often write the harmony above it like this. Let's separate this stuff here. So now these two lines here, which are the Itsy Bitsy Spider melody, we see the one chord and the five chord. And actually, I'm going to make it five seven. The reason I'm writing this out now, this is a whole other world to explore. Start with just what I'm talking about here. You don't even need to write it out. You don't need to write out melodies this way. Again, I just want you to think of melodies this way. And again, this is how I'm thinking on the guitar. This is just the non-fretboard version of it. I'm thinking of relationships and hearing them that way. And if I hear recordings, if I hear melodies, that's how I know, oh, they played, you know, they're playing this three, two, one of the scale right now, or that's the pentatonic scale, because I know the pentatonic scale is one, two, three, five, six, one, and I'm hearing that structure because of because I practice singing this stuff then I can hear it, okay? And a lot of people can hear it even without having to practice the singing part. The singing part is what allows me at least to finally <laughs> figure out how to hear it after a long time of not knowing how to hear that stuff, okay? So the, the chords written above are really a whole other realm for us to work on. What we see here is that, oh, on the two, that's the five, seven chord. On the four, that's the five, seven chord. Switching to that, well, two of the parent scale is a chord tone of the five chord. Okay, do you see the can of worms that is getting opened here? What are the numbers for every chord within the key? Obviously, the one chord is one, three, five. Okay, those are the chord tone numbers of the one chord from the scale. Well, what are the chord tone numbers of the two chord, which we don't have in here. We don't have a two chord, but the two chord would be two, four, six. So we're thinking of the parent scale numbers of each chord. So when we're thinking of melodies this way, we can say, oh, it land the melody landed and emphasized on two, and two is a chord tone of five, so I can play the five chord there. Okay, if that can of worms is too <laughs> confusing or sounds like too much right now, that's okay, don't go there. But, but, it, but it is pretty straightforward in terms of just logic, like you could just write out, you know, what are the, what are the numbers, five, seven, two and if it's a seven chord four okay those are the parent scale number chord tones of dominant seven chord as the five of the key the scale numbers okay you could do that with all of them and start to think that way that's kind of next level stuff it, after you can just sing a scale up and down maybe sing some patterns with it where you maybe alternate notes start singing simple simple melodies and be very very aware of the number that you're on and the structure and where it is and just be thinking of it in that way and that will enhance your guitar playing especially your improvisation or your composing or your sense of being able to hear where 
you're, you know, where you're playing next or what you want to play next. Okay. So when I'm targeting something coming up in a phrase and it's landing back on like the main tonic chord of the progression, which is stuff I talked about, uh, in my last video on this channel or a video recently, at least improvising over jazz chord progression, one, six, two, five, a lot of that hearing part where that's happening internally has come from me doing this kind of work. Um, and be before I did this kind of work, I, I was not able to do that at all. I could play stuff, but it wasn't coming from kind of my inner ear and my soul. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you in this kind of totally different uh, style of video. And if anything's confusing, uh, let me know if you're interested in more. Let me know since this is so different. I do like to get feedback and comments on something that when I do um, totally new concepts and, and stuff I could elaborate on more in the future. But hope you found that helpful. Since this is scale stuff and the whole point is that we want to get the sound and structure of scales into our mind and our ear separate from the fretboard, well then we want to create the bridge to the fretboard by practicing our actual scales. I have a free scale download called my printable parent scales PDF. It's all the parent scales which then all the modes come from ton of amazing scale diagrams to work on super clear for you uh, PDF. You can get that for free, download it with the link in the top of the description, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash scales. I post a new guitar lesson video every week. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.